Domerval. 20. Not you, Adrix. Oh, okay. Cool. Everybody in the room. <laughs> oh, no. You did say 20 all the big Daniels. Yeah, you're 19. Only, okay, you're only looking for a 15. 23. As the gold, the molten gold, sloshes up and over the conduit, it threatens to slosh onto your boots and on your legs, and all of you manage to duck out of the way of it. And Adrix, you see this swell of gold sloshing up the stairs. I'm assuming you're not standing over one of the conduits. You're coming down the center no, of the stairs. No, definitely not. Yeah. <laughs> and you see this wave of gold reach around either side of you, and you hear the splash behind and when you turn to look you see what looks like a wave forming at the top of the stairs in the pool <laughs> all right yeah nope <laughs> scramble on down <laughs> anybody in these two squares aligned or these two areas aligned with the stairs might want to get out of the way yeah Razu takes a few steps forward when she she sees Aders booking down the stairs yeah, when you see Adric start tearing ass down the stairs, I mean, all of you dive forward in time for this wave of molten gold. This temper tantrum that Mammon is throwing s crashes into the ground. And when he sees that he flushes Adric's out, he claps his hands and he jumps from foot to foot to foot. And he says, finally, at long last, you I have found, you five have been most difficult to negotiate with. And he reaches down with his clawed hands, and he's got a dozen golden bracelets. He's adorned with jewelry, all on rings on his fingers and piercings on his face. And he kind of scritches the head of his dragon who cranes its neck up. And you see that it's no true dragon at all. It's a drake. It's little more than an animal. Who's carrying the staff? Wendy? Wendy. He looks out at you all. He says, But in the end, you have brought me a most fantastical present. Adrix and Wendy, you very clearly hear behind you a crackling sound, like ice cracking, almost. What's next? Razu's kind of just letting him play his theatrics out at this point, right, for, for the moment. Yeah, well, he's just told Wendy, you've brought me a most fantastical gift. And Wendy looks left and right, trying to figure out who he's talking about. <laughs> Razu elbows Wendy. He's looking at you. And looks up. Sorry, you'll have to forgive me. He says, is that what you want of me, Wendy? My forgiveness, I give it freely. I ask so little in return. And Wendy kind of perks up a bit. You seem very accommodating. I don't suppose you mind leaving as well. And he laughs. He says, leave this fine house that I've built for myself. But why would I? Everything I love is here. Including Bruniar's leash, Razu looks to the statue again. When he says that, Razu, as you're barbing him, you see his eyes narrow and he's staring, almost salivating, staring at Wendy and the staff. How are you carrying the staff, Wendy? Are you like using it as a walking stick? Or like... Uh-huh. Wendy's using it as a walking stick. She's like picking her teeth with it. <laughs> <laughs> it's for Adric's thing. <laughs> Wendy doesn't keep anything unless she's gonna use it. He says, many times I've reached out to discuss with you the terms of our arrangement in a civil and polite manner to the agreeable success of both parties. And again and again and again you have slapped my wrist. And do I take this as a slight, as an insult? No, I know it's your nature. But you're here now, and we must forget the past. 
And now, one at a time, I will hear what you would have of me in exchange for your service. And he bows very low and very mockingly as he says this. I don't know about you, but I personally would take you to leave this place, to leave, to leave this world. You who are of an ancient and uh, who are not part of this world's order anymore. It's changed in the, in, in the centuries and millennia since your kind were in power. He looks up at you, Razu. It's our world now. And he says, it has changed. It has changed in great and glorious ways, and it will change again. And the changes will be more great and glorious still, for it will be I, puppeteering the changes. So you see, I cannot give you what you want, Razu. I cannot meet your request, for it is unreal. Reasonable. But I have a counter offer for you. And he steps down off of his throne with all of his weight and he starts tromping across the coins. And he tromps across, just splashes through the molten gold and stands right amidst it. And his drake climbs up. The thing doesn't have wings, but it climbs up around its enormous girth, perching up on his shoulder. And he gestures to the molten gold. And he picks up one of his great feet, puts it right on the bank in front of it. He says, here is what I would ask of the mighty Razu. I would have you come before me and place your foul tongue in this moat of gold so that I may put my foot upon it and hold you down until your body stops twitching and I make something beautiful of you after all. And then he opens his arms, as though waiting, to, hoping you'll say yes. Razu, Razu is very stone-faced, but it's very clear in her posture, in her expression, or not, not her expression, her, uh, her, yeah, yeah, her posture that she, she has absolutely no, I, she has absolutely no desire to, to parlay with this guy. Oh. It, he very clearly has no desire to parlay with you either. He literally just told you to come forth so he didn't kill you. That's yeah, exactly what he said. Razu takes the uh, Razu takes the uh, the Holy Avenger in her hand and says, "You don't really expect me to uh, to accept those terms, do you?" Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Was my request also unreasonable? He cranes so his neck towards you. While Razu is verbally sparring with the uh, ancient evil, yeah, Bertie's going to reach over and grab uh, Adrix's arm mm -hmm. and cast protection from good, evil and good. Protection from <laughs> stuff. Okay. <laughs> uh -huh. Wendy is also going to touch herself and cast protection from stuff. <laughs> Do these Dogs spells have somatic touched. or verbal components? Yes. I will let you know, but either way, I'm doing it. Okay. Yeah. It, they do, it does? Yeah. Uh, you know what? That's going to have to be initiative, then. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah, yeah we're, we're, we're casting spells. Oh my god, I gotta yeah, roll I so many initiative dice. <laughs> two, three, what are you talking about? There's only two things here. Oh, wow! They're... Okay! Wow! That happened right there. there are so... Oh, I gotta roll an extra one for him. Yeah, okay. That happened. What happened? I put that, tw that that 20 right there is my initiative. Nice. Is it a 20 or is it 19? It's a 19. Uh, we can I can't. This one out. I... You guys can see the orange one here, yeah? Yeah, it is very orange. I don't know why you're putting one on there. I don't know where Man, my yellow I one is. I thought I rolled really good. Yeah, no, you did. <laughs> Listen, Everyone kind of did. It'll come in handy. I rolled poor. <laughs> I rolled very poorly. <laughs> 
I was like, I got a 15. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I think everybody rolled higher than I did. To be fair, okay. also, we didn't cast the first deathly spell in this room. Someone else sending waterfalls of gold, all kinds of stuff. He's just it's rude. It's true. It's his house. You guys stormed in and murdered his golems. Like, It's not even his house. It's not. He's Stolen squatting. House. He's squatting. He's squatting. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he is kind of squatting on the Lord of Blades place. There yeah. are so many mosquitoes outside that I'm starting to feel like I'm about to, like, die. I've Wait. never seen anything like this. Oh, orange are you orange talking orange. about in the game or in real life? In real life, I'm looking out my window and seeing that... about 2,000 mosquitoes. That's also the case in the game. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. I guess apparently they're role-playing. Okay, so nobody's <laughs> cast a spell yet, but Birdie, you're at the first initiative. You're going to reach back and cast a spell. You're going to cast protection uh -huh. from stuff on Adrix? Yes. Okay, you are counterspelled. Rude. Okay. And Mammon makes a, a big reaction. flourish out of it using his reaction. He thrusts his hands forward, and the waves of gold from the moat lunge out towards you and from the conduit and the coins erupt off the ground in your direction clattering around and you feel the magic just pushed away just go ahead and burn those blips buddy yeah it's just one it's just one blip burn it it's gone wendy and the second he dramatically does that wendy looks over and then casts it on herself wendy you're counterspelled by who by mammon god how many counter spells this guy got <laughs> he's got a lot of shit and the same flourish. And he's relishing this. He's taking such joy in this. And he says, Ancient Razu, I am more ancient than you know. I am from a time when magic came naturally to people. You and your silly runes. Oh, it is to laugh. Hmm. Are either of you moving or are you staying put? Uh, Wendy's going to move as part of her turn. I don't, I'll don't. let you move first, Squirty, because it's your turn first. Yeah. Uh... I'm not sure. So, is there any big... These are all small uh, things of gold, right? Like small rivers of gold? Yeah, there's conduits of gold kind of lurching through the floors here, but they don't hinder your movement at all. You just kind of step over them. They're a couple okay, I'm inches gonna across. Cunning action, dash, and kind of hide behind the remains of this. What's your passive perception, sir? 23. 23. As you come over here, you hear rumbling and movement under the mountain of coins on the other side of this destroyed brass statue. Okay. Like, does it butt up against the wall? Is it, or is there... It just, I... it's like something lowly rumbling, making the coins kind of tumble. Like, picture like a stack of coins is like sitting on your passenger seat as you're riding down a bumpy highway. No, I'm asking, does the statue butt up against the wall? Can I do this? Oh, no, you can go behind the statue, yes. But if you're doing okay. that, you're climbing up onto this mountain of coins that's rumbling. I don't want to climb up on the mountain of coins. I want to yep. get somewhere with cover. Uh, there's a pile of rubble here where the statue once stood, pile of brass pieces. Uh, if you go prone behind it, I'll say you have cover. No, I'm not going to go prone. Okay. That seems like a bad idea. <laughs> then, yeah, the rubble and... isn't stacked high enough to grant cover. Okay. And Wendy will pull out her longbow and twang the screen, string a couple of times and say, that's fine. I was never that good at magic anyway. And then she's going to run along this wall over this mound, landing over here. Okay, what's your passive perception? It is a 21. And you feel a similar rumbling on the other side of this statue, right near where you've landed. All right, I'm going to be right here. By the way, Mammon very much agrees with you that you're not very good at magic. That's fine. And that's going to bring us to Razu. Razu casts a spell. She does? Mm -hmm. That's awesome. What spell? <laughs> or Vitality. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thanks for, thanks for tanking that for me. So he got his regular reaction, and then he can use all of his legendary actions to counterspell. But he, <laughs> he can't do a third one. <laughs> no more gas <laughs> in the tank. Okay. Oh. All right. So yeah, aura vitality is up. I'll burn the blips for that. Okay. Uh, how does that spell work? Refresh my memory because I haven't seen it in a long time. Well, 
if the, if this was a previous campaign, it'd be, we'd be outside of combat and just and just absorbing like 120 hit points worth of healing, basically. Oh. Razu, this is not going to affect your turn, but something does happen before your turn. I, sorry, okay, okay. I thought you went on twenty. By all 19. means, no, I go on nineteen. A great brilliant glow from the moat, blinding this ring of light, and something in it as it flashes out, like there's a bass note that thrums through the room and through all of you. No saving throw. These are the penalties to being slowed. On your turn, you can choose to ignore one of these penalties. Okay. Minus two penalty to AC and deck saves. You cannot use reactions. And on your turn, you can use either an action or a bonus action, but not both. And you can... Everybody can, there's no saving throw to avoid the effect, but everybody can choose to avoid one of those effects on their turn. And you can change which okay. one it is from turn to turn. All right, so I need to make sure I have that condition out on there. So let's see, you said slow? It's not in the condition list here. No, it's because it's not a condition. It's a spell. It just does a whole bunch of cr terrible things. What okay, is then. The what was the second one? You don't uh, get a reaction. Feet? You can't use a reaction. Okay. So I'm going to hold on to... Oh, I can only ignore one of those? Yes. You pick which one on your turn to ignore at the start of your turn. The other two I'm gonna stay hold in my react I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep a hold of my reaction and I will move here there and cast orb of vitality. Okay. Yeah. Uh please refresh my memory what that spell does. Uh healing energy radiates from me within a thirty foot radius. Um until the spell ends, the or until the spell ends, the aura removes with Razu. Uh, it can use a bonus action to cause one creature in the aura, including myself, to gain 2d6 hit points. Okay, gotcha. So I, I, I can heal as a bonus action. Alright, and you're ending your turn there? Yeah, so I have a d10 that marks it down there. Boop. That's going to bring us to red. Your movement is not, in, not hindered at all, but you have to choose... To keep your AC, keep your reaction, or use an action and bonus action. I'm going to give up uh, the AC and reflex. Okay. Five, ten, if I move to here, uh, first of all, is this corridor still when open? When you go up the stairs, you see that this yep. pool of gold has solidified uh -huh. at the top of the stairs, okay. blocking your escape. I'm still going to move to there. Okay. Gonna ready an action to shoot Mammon if he come if he's adjacent to one of my companions at some point. Okay. And uh, obviously fling out my bow. I'm also gonna apply a uh, radiant drow poison to this arrow. Okay. I skip Mammon's turn, but I'll just do it now. You would skip his turn every time. That'd be should, great. Should I skip it every yeah. time? Yeah. yeah. Maybe I should. <laughs> You've never seen a man this fat move this fast the first thing you're aware of is the splash as the golden drake hits the moat as mammon darts out from underneath it over to adrex uh you know what looks like he's passing through my threat range yeah but you don't have a reaction so i don't care i do i did i said i, I said i wanted to keep my reaction oh well then i'll just not move through your threat range then <laughs> i got your range is only, what, 10? 10 foot. You gotta be a god, man. You gotta wake up earlier than that. Uh, Adrix. Yeah. By the way, he is armed with something for purposes of martial awareness. What he's armed with is he whips out from under... You're not sure where he pulls it from. From his baggy pantaloons or from behind his opulent cloak. Or maybe just underneath a, one of his rolls of belly fat. But he has this overflowing coin purse. This just velvet, satin, and cloth of gold with just coins spilling out of it. And he's gonna beat your ass to death with it what's his reach on that 10 feet uh Idris, right. i'm gonna just this one doesn't hit you <laughs> i've got a 19 to hit that hits <laughs> go ahead and take 16 points of bludgeoning damage 
plus 15 points of radiant damage. Okay. And please make a constitution saving throw. DC is 24. You know, this makes sense because he's been downloading data on us since, like, the beginning, basically. Um, that's a 27. 27. And this purse crashes down on you. And, I mean, he hits you the second time, too. It's He rolls a 19. So that's going to be a <laughs> lot to hit. So let me give you some more damage. Okay. First hit missed. The second one, you passed your save. The third one is going to be... 19 points of bludgeoning damage. Yep. <laughs> plus 19 points of radiant damage. That's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. <laughs> Anyone this... feeling like we made a bad choice? And Adrix, it's your turn. Does my ready to action go off? It does. Technically, <laughs> technically you should have just done this after he did his action, but it's fine. Yeah, you can shoot him now. That's life. The good news is he's he's enormous, so Adrix provides him no cover. That's only a uh, 13 to hit. 13 does not hit. That's going to bring us to Adrix's turn. And Adrix just looks that up and up at him and says, you, you really just hit me with your purse, huh? The purse. The grin Aesthetic. never leaves his... I was going to argue that it's not a martial weapon, but then somebody's going to go, no, uh Final Fantasy Tactics, and I'd be like, yeah, okay. Well, <laughs> it would have been you. <laughs> yes. I mean, yeah, they do have the bag weapons and tactics. That's right. Um, they're female only, though. Don't judge. So I have to decide between whether I want to keep my AC, my reaction, or what's the third one? You can on your turn. You could take an action or a bonus action, but not both. Okay. You could ignore one of these effects on your turn. Well, let's take an action, and I have to melee him, don't I? Because he's right next to me, so I can't smack him with a longbow. You can shoot him, it's just at point-blank range, you're at disadvantage. I, I don't want to be at the... You, I don't re move away you from really, him. really don't. <laughs> yeah, well, and I don't want to move away from him, because then he's going to hit me with his purse again. Probably, I don't yeah. want his purse again. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to melee him. Okay. Uh, Yeah. First attack. Wow. What are you attacking with? Uh, the fame war. Okay. Is it lit or not? Uh, yeah, it would be lit. Okay. <laughs> but that's only going to be a 12. 12 to hit? It's not so, going to do it. It's going to be lit. Second attack is a 19 to hit. Not going to do it. His, <sighs> his skin is like solid gold. It's like stabbing a metal statue. Third attack. Yep. Uh, and offhand weapon. Is that a bonus action? Uh, that's going to be a bonus action, so never mind. Okay. And he's laughing mockingly in your face, and the spittle coming out of his mouth and just splattering against your forehead. Moving or staying put? I can't move. He's going to smack me with his purse. I'm going to die. He's totally going to. Uh, he's going to use a legendary action, but you have no idea what he's doing. That's going to bring me to the Drake, who is just going to blindly go after Razu because she's looking real delicious. The drake, like the creatures you fought before, looks like it's made out of coins. It also looks much larger, though, and it doesn't actually have three heads. I don't know why the only kind of drake-looking monster has three heads in the tabletop, but that's how it works. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's have Razu and Birdie make a dexterity saving throw. Thirteen. Thirteen? Yeah. Uh, Twelve. Dexterity saving throw? Yeah, I rolled a two. Okay. Uh, 
31 points of radiant damage. Mm. That might be the first time I've hit a rogue with a dex save attack. Wow. Would it be DC 15 to save the uh, constitution save to, to keep my spell? Yeah, I make it. Oh, okay. And yeah, the thing rears back its head and opens its mouth. And it's the same thing as before. These coins explode forward. The sparks shooting off of them and this blinding radiant light burns at you. And then it's going to be back to back to birdie. Okay. Uh, not really sure. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to shoot this 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 dragon man, not dragon man, Drake man. Yeah. Coin Drake. Coin Drake. That is a twenty one to hit. Oh, that'll hit. Drake, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, and nine. Which of these slow effects are you ignoring? Uh, the if I can get my uh, I am ignoring the uh, no reaction. Okay. How much damage do you do my poor innocent Drake? That's a lot of fives and sixes uh it sure uh, is 51 whoo and yeah it's already bloodied holy crap as the jingle of coins hits the floor all around it uh birdie moving or staying put i am going to just move here okay uh windy which of the slow effects are you ignoring uh, I am going to keep my reaction. Okay. And I am going to head back over. And I think I'm going to beat him with the sufficiently powerful lever, which will crack open the world. You're going to hit the man with the Staff of the Magi? The yeah, only man. thing he wants in the world? That's right. That's cold. That's life. <laughs> All right, roll it. That's it. That's a 31 to hit. That'll do it. I'm, I'm waiting for... Uh... That's... 12 magical bludgeoning. And could you make me a constitution saving throw, please? What is the constitution save contingent on? You hitting or you dealing damage with the attack? Uh, I believe it's me hitting, but I can check. Yeah, double check that. I'll go ahead and make a con save. Yeah, there. no problem. When you hit with a melee weapon attack. Okay. When your staff impacts this creature, there is no effect. And this flabbergasts you, because you know it was a good hit. And you know the magic of this staff and how powerful it is. And you are skilled with this weapon. What was the con save for? I'm trying to apply a stunning strike. A stunning strike? Afraid not. DC is 19. No, I mean, he's can't be stunned. What? Ah. Windy, All right, move. I'm going to... Oh, go ahead. Moving or staying put? Oh, I'm not done yet. Not done yet. Yeah, I'm going to... So listen, one weapon attack didn't work. I'm going to use another one. Okay. Go in for a longsword. Yep. That is a 20 to hit. Uh, 20 will hit. Four... We just nailed this guy's AC. <laughs> uh, that's seven magical slashing. Okay. And that and... felt like a much better hit. You do not draw blood from this creature. He literally bleeds gold down the neck of your sword. And I'm good here. Staying put right there in his threat range. That's right where I want you. It's going to bring us to Hazu. All right, I need a, both an action and a bonus action okay. because I have to do things. Um, so you're giving up your reaction, and you've got an AC and Dex save penalty until the start of your next turn. Yep. 
Uh, Adrix, get uh, 2d6 healing. Oh man, can you hear that thunder out there? I did. That was loud. Sorry about that. Not... I'm apologizing, but it was my fault. Like, I did it. <laughs> it's all your fault, Burkut. Good feeling, yay. No, I, I just, I just know how obnoxious it is to hear background noise over a microphone, so sorry. I, I'm gonna, Thank you, Razu. Yeah, and I'm going to take 40 of uh, Poultice healing for myself. Okay. Cause... I'll let you know. I forgive you. And that's going to end Razu's turn. I don't. I hold a grudge forever. Adrix. That sounds like you. You see Wendy dart up next to you with the staff, and you... You, you can swear that you feel the reverberation of her strike. You know it was a good strike. But when it hits and it doesn't deal damage, for just a split second, you think you see his grin crack for a moment. And he turns his full attention to Wendy. Hmm. Wendy. Yeah. Got a 30 to hit. That uh, hits. Hey, Burke, can I ask a kind of weird question? I like weird questions. Can I get an insight on that reaction? Is there a, a, an insight on his reaction to being hit with the staff as a reaction? Uh, <laughs> yeah, if you're watching him. Yeah, I mean, what else am I watching in this room? Have you seen it? <laughs> Remember, Red th thinks we have enough treasure. Yeah, go ahead and make that uh, check. That would be an insight check of 19. He desires this staff above okay. all else. And it's very, like, he can see that Wendy's intent was to goad him. And, it, like, the physically the staff did no damage, but the blow to his pride must be answered. Uh, so, yeah, Wendy, I've got a 30 to hit. Yeah, I'll hit. Can I get a constitution saving throw? DC is 24. You got it. I'm going to go ahead and key point that because okay. I'm not a crazy person. That's a pass. A pass. It's going to be 16 points of bludgeoning damage. 16 after being like, do I cut? What do I do here? Nothing. That's the damage from the hit. Just straight 16. Got yes. it. Plus. Sorry, I got to do a lot of adding. No, that's cool. 23 radiant damage. All right. Uh, his second attack hits a AC twenty seven. Uh huh. For sixteen bludgeoning damage. Uh huh. And twenty radiant damage. Okay. And the third purse swing goes way wide. Like, he's bludgeoning down so angrily that he's losing focus. That's good. And that's going to bring us to... Red. Do I have a shot on the drake from here, or am I going to have to move to get around uh, Mammon? You'd have a shot on the drake from here. In other words, you can take uh -huh. a shot at the drake without entering Mammon's threat range. Okay, but not well, from where I am. Not from where you are uh, at the stage. I'm losing... No. The, I'm keeping my reaction. Okay. No, I was trying to take this Drake down fast. Um, that'll hit an armor class of 24. 24 will hit. And can you give me a constitution save as well? Will do. Uh, 15. That is the DC, so I'm going to have to half this, assuming... Is it even worth it for me to roll the poison damage? Uh, no, it's immune to poison. Okay. But the sneak attack damage will probably take care yeah. of it, honestly. Uh, that'll do 43. Yeah, that's enough. Razu, there's not even like an explosion of coin. The Drake, it wasn't as tough as the Golems you already fought. <laughs> oh, let's see, so I moved 5, 10, 15, 20, 20. I got a little bit of movement left. I do not have a bonus action. That's the end of Red's turn. Okay. And he's going to spend his legendary actions. That's going to bring us to... Adrex. Alright. I really need to get away from him. Okay. I really need to shoot him. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use my action to disengage. Yep. Can he actually get to me in this hallway? Like, can he fit through it? Do you think? 
Or is he too big? You'd have to study him for a minute to get information like that. Oh, boo. All right. He's physically too big. I'll tell you this. He's physically too big to get into that hallway, but there's only two entrances into this room, and they're both that size. So you can extrapolate from that what you will. Also, there's nowhere to go up these stairs because it's blocked. It's true. All right. I'm disengaging. Okay. I'm... Uh, wait, hold on. Right there, perfect. Perfect. Yeah. That's the end of Adrix's turn. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I don't have a Drake anymore. I wish I did. Oh no. It's gonna bring us to Birdie. Okay. Uh, Birdie's going to uh keep his. I'm going to keep my AC and Dex. Okay. Because I'm, going to, I'm going to be standing next to Adrix here. Uh, Birdie's going to reach in an Adrix's pack and pull out the... Uh, pull out one of our potions of greater healing and feed it to Adrix. Okay. <laughs> Adrix, I'm Adrix. assuming you allow this to happen? Sure. Okay. <laughs> he can't stop me. I'm like a monkey. I'm all up on him. <laughs> Can we just give Adrix a beer hat with, like, potions of healing in it? Drink, right. drink the potion. 44, Adrix. Plus 4. 4 D4. Yeah, plus yeah 4, four. die 4. I got really excited there for, like, <laughs> half a second. I was like, I thought there was an actual cleric in this campaign for a second. <laughs> Alright. Well... And that's right. the end of Birdie's turn? Yes. Wendy, you're up. Alright, well, I've got seven hit points. <laughs> so I'm not making it through this fight, guys. So what would Wendy do in the situation? To piss off the guy? Spit in his eye? I'm gonna grab the Staff of the Magi and I'm gonna break it over his back. You try to break the staff. Uh huh. If you're trying to, um, boy, I tried that last session. If you're trying to d destroy it, well, I don't. Adrix and Birdie, big, you bit a big chip in it, right? Trained in Arcana would know the staff's not going to break. Like, this is yeah. something that you would just know, having traveled with the staff for so long. Birdie spent so much time studying it. You're not going to be able to just like snap it over your knee. It's not going to break. All right. In that there's, case, it's an ancient cool relic mold. from beyond time. <laughs> what about if we dumped it in a pool of molten gold? You come out probably looking pretty. <laughs> he controls all the gold here. He could just kind of mm. shimmy it out all the way. All right. That's my that's my assumption. Well, I'm going to play Keep Away. Okay. I'm going to use my key point to disengage, which means I'm using my bonus action this turn. Okay. And I'm going to fly over. So are you? Is that? Are you going to also take an action this turn, or are you just using the bonus action? Uh, is there anything useful I can do with my action? Do you have a do you have a potion according to my inventory here? Yeah, I'll give it a shot. Yeah, I'm well try and stay within 30 feet of me cuz I I've, I've got Yeah, no, right absolutely not. I'm not going to do that in <laughs> the slightest. Uh, it's your ass. My ass is going over here. I'm going to Yeah, I'm going to use my action to to drink a potion. Okay. Am I the kind of absolute dickhead who would give this obvious spellcasting monster sentinel? Probably. No, he doesn't have sentinel. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> he only has sentinel if he's armed with the staff of the magi. Oh no! So you're gonna disengage? Actually, no. I'm gonna not gonna use my potion. I'm not gonna use my action to drink a potion. I'm gonna use my action to dash. Okay. I'm going way over here. And not surprisingly, when you get to the top of these stairs, they are also blocked. 
five. That's fine. I'm Solid I'm gonna go there. right here. Okay, just around the corner, like out of sight. Yeah. All right, Razu. I need an action like... and a bonus action this turns. Uh, Adrix, get two d six. And then Razu moves to hopefully bar Mammon's passage. Okay. And gonna attack. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add those two D. I'm gonna just go ahead and bring those two D tens over here. That's a twenty three to hit. That'll hit. I'm gonna take these two D tens because I'm I, I'm I'm guessing he counts as a fiend. Oh yes, <laughs> he is yeah. extremely a fiend. Are you sure? He's literally I an arch devil. Okay. Um, arch fiend doesn't count. <laughs> all right so that's that's good okay so the d10s are are radiant or the d10s radiant d4 slashing uh d8s are thunder damage don't you get extra smite damage if it's an undead I, or a thing? yeah i do I'm I'm, I'm, I'm 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 tracking a bunch here so <laughs> i get so i get that all right that's first level second level no we're doing a fourth level slot here so and yeah, I get the extra D8 for that as well. So I'm stacking a whole lot onto this. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, so we are looking at uh, nine slashing damage. Okay. Four radiant damage. Okay. And 44 thunder damage. 4d4? No. <laughs> As in, 4 more than the number 40. And you lash out with your holy whip. And yeah, he's not liking that none too much. Uh, yeah, I've got another 4th level spell slot. I'm, uh, I intend to put it in his face. Okay. Uh, 22 to hit. 22 will hit. Let's do it again! <laughs> Let's get back in line. Alright, that looks good. Uh, that is 8 Slashing, 15 Radiant, and 25 Thunder Damage. Okay. 44. What else you got? That's the end of Raz's turn. I did my move, I did that, and then I get the 8. So it's a minus 2 AC penalty for slow? Yes, minus 2 to AC, minus 2 to deck saves. And he sneers okay. down at you. And he says he's going to take you last. He's going to make you watch as he destroys your friends. And then he goes over to destroy Birdie. The good news is he doesn't leave your threat range because he can teleport. I mean, I didn't have a reaction anyway, so nerds to you. But he's a big show off. Birdie. Huh? Here it comes. Nat 20. Oh, Okay. Yeah, so let's go ahead and get a DC 24 constitution saving throw. Yeah, that's probably not going to happen, but we'll see. Maybe I can roll a 19 or higher. Nope, I fell. I got good news and then a pretty neat question. Okay. The good news is the hit doesn't do any damage. The neat question is, what awesome pose does your gold statue strike? Ugh. You are instantly petrified. Can I go ahead and just use four blips to uh, automatically pass that? <laughs> Cannot have that happen to you? <laughs> sure. <laughs> but then I get to roll uh, damage. That's, well, I mean, that's better than being automatically petrified. All right, this is a lot of dice, so bear with me here. I mean... 23 points of bludgeoning damage. Uh-huh. Oh, I dropped one of my D8s. I'm thinking of the weapons in Team Fortress 2 that turn you into a gold statue when you kill somebody with them. Sounds like something from Worms, actually. God, I need even more D8s. I'll re-roll two of them. Thirty-eight points of radiant damage. Yeah, I'm probably dead, you guys. The second attack hits a armor class of 30. Yeah, I'm dead. 
for 15 points of bludgeoning damage. I currently have one hit point. Wow. 22 points of radiant damage. Okay, oh, I'm down. Could you have uncannied the first one, or did you give up your reaction? Uh, I gave up my reaction. Birdie, upon reaching zero hit points, you are nonetheless petrified by the magic purse. Ugh. What cool pose does your body strike? <laughs> like, I'm making a jerk-off motion. <laughs> <laughs> we all knew that's what that was coming, right? Yeah, I like, yeah, like we can't. It's a pretty cool pose. Mm -hmm. And Mammon cackles with maddening, unbridled glee. It's going to bring us to Red's turn. Oh, no, I'm sorry. He's got one more attack. It is multi attack, and Adrix is standing right there. Adrix, I've got a 15 to hit. Yeah. That's, I think that's the actual lowest he can hit. <laughs> Great. <laughs> 16 points of bludgeoning damage. So much work into healing me. <laughs> but don't worry, Rosso can give you another 6. 22 <laughs> points of radiant damage. <laughs> okay. Now he cackles with maddening glee. That's going to bring us to Red's turn. Uh, I'm going to keep my reaction. Okay. I'm going to move to here. And uh, Kraken Free Stagger. Okay. Does he have to use a bonus action cackle? That hits an armor class of uh, 27. That's that's good. All villains I'm get cackles with reaction. Breaking the dagger off? Yep. Nice. Oh. We've ahead. been waiting for it. Yeah. Go ahead and roll. <laughs> I've been waiting for it the entire campaign. Holy shit. I mean, yeah. Just now happening. Uh, the base damage would be 46, no, 43. Uh, okay. And you I, I don't have a bonus action or anything, so that's it. Breaking it off in the wound? Yep. Okay, so he will incur some... I believe it was cold damage at the start of every one of his turns. And you're staying put there? I... Don't have a bonus action to disengage, so yeah. All right, Adrix. I'm glad he. Oh, I'm sorry. He's using again. legendary actions, but now you can go. Okay. Yeah. Um. Well, I'm gonna stab him. Okay. I'm gonna keep my action and stab it with the fame one. So, what slow effect are you ignoring? Um. <laughs> Let's. Let's keep my bonus action this time. Okay. I'm an action and bonus action. That is a 24 to hit. That'll hit. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Whoops. Bye -bye. That's five fire and I don't see where it lands. Two. Cool. It's a two. It's a two. Yeah. So, seven piercing and five fire. Okay. But does it look like it did stuff? Sort of. You slice into him with the dagger, and you open a cut, but the heat from the dagger seems to melt it close. Doesn't look like fire can harm him. Right. The dagger did fine, but the fire... Okay. Uh, um, well, didn't do I'm going to try this anyway. Please make a strength saving throw. Uh, he's not trained in these. Mm. 19. Ah, oh. He needed to make an 18. It's one of his low right. stats. <laughs> he still takes an additional 4 damage. He sure does. Uh, Alright. Second attack. Mm -hmm. The Feymore seems ineffective. I've got my silver sword in the other hand. So. Okay. Let's science this, as he would say. Uh, that is a 26 to hit. That'll hit. For 11 damage. Okay. Something very interesting happens. 
Okay. I'm interested. First things first. Is this a sword that was silvered, or is it a sword yes. made of silver? It was a sword that was silvered. It's no longer silvered. When you stab at him with it, he shrieks in pain. And I mean, this sword goes into him like butter. And the silver of the sword instantly melts away. And you see this enormous gash on his, on his fat rolls where you stuck him. And the silver seeps across his chest. You've seen this kind of thing before with necrotic damage. How this necrosis will creep up your arms. That's what this looks like. But it looks like the silver creeping across the gold. But your weapon is no longer silvered after that one hit. Okay. Um, That's some good science. Yeah, repeat that uh, same uh, strength saving throw, please. Sure. Eight. All right. Uh, he takes additional seven damage and disarming strike or disarming attack. Hit with a weapon attack. I expend superiority die, and he is disarmed if it fails a strength saving throw. Okay. And the purse clatters to the ground, and the coins spill out at his feet, your feet, and Birdie's statue's feet. Neat. Third attack. Mm -hmm. With what? Uh, the Vamor again? Okay. I guess I gotta go back to the Vamor, right? Because I'm assuming the, the other sword is no longer usable. Well, you can't make your third attack with your offhand weapon. Your attacks uh, have to be with your main weapon. All right, then I'm, yes, I'm back to the Vamor. Back to the Vamor. Um, that is a 28 to hit. That'll hit. Four... Uh, seven piercing. Should I bother rolling the fire? No. Okay. Okay. And hold on. Hold on. Please make um another strength <laughs> saving throw, please. Thirteen. Damn. Uh, one point of one extra point of damage, and he's pushed back fifteen feet. You're gonna th shove him back against this wall. Yeah, and he's making a big show of being put like this one grievous injury that's dealt him. He's stumbling and he's fumbling on his feet, and he's tripping over these coins as he goes. And for a moment, you think the whole nine thousand pounds of happy charlie here is about to tumble over backwards and splatter against the wall but he keeps his feet does not go over okay moving or staying put uh blew my bonus um All right. Okay. That's going to bring us back to... We can just get rid of this. Back to Wendy. All right. I am going to That's keep harsh. my bonus action. Okay. And I am going to take a couple of blind long shot, longbow shots at him. That's... That's funny. A, F, that's fine. That's a 20 to hit. That'll hit. For uh, 13 magical piercing. Okay. And second shot hmm. is a, yeah, a 31 to hit for another 10 magical piercing. Okay. And then I'm going to use my key point to dodge. It's a bonus action to dodge in that square? Uh-huh. Razu, what about you? I'm going to close and strike again with my whip. Okay. Ooh, you know what? I need to I'm going to burn two blips cuz I cuz I need to hit with this stuff. 
hey, that's a little, that's a little better. <laughs> that's a little bit better. <laughs> so I'm down to one blip, but I'm about to pick up all the dice. I'm going to play Rogue for a second. Okay. <laughs> now Rogues and get d6s. That... Yeah, we don't get d8s. <laughs> Don't forget, if you're rolling a lot of dice, to uh, make sure that they're not going to disappear in the fog of war. Yeah. Oh, I can just get rid yeah, of that. No. Now. We don't need that anymore. Okay. Okay, so that's going to be 2d8s for the slashing, or 2d4s for the slashing, rather. Uh, it's going to be another 2d10s for the, uh, for the radiant damage against a fiend. And then I'm putting third level spell slot on this, so that's my that's my fiend die. That is okay. The, well, I guess those are my fiend die. You don't uh, need these d4s, right? No, those are the no, whip. Those are the whip. That's that's that's, that's okay. my base okay. damage. Okay. Oh, no, 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 that's fine. Just that's, making sure. Those d4s are a holy avenger. That's my that's my that's my. Uh, Just don't throw them edge. off the edge. <laughs> throw them off the edge. Can we do that if you're a warlock? <laughs> And but then, then you just summon it back to your hand. That's why you can do it. <laughs> so I had some asshole do that with the sun level? sword and curse of Strahd. It was really dumb. Second level and third level. So we're looking at two d four, four d ten, and then ten d eight. Yeah, go ahead and uh, whatever. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> okay, we're looking at uh, eleven slashing. Okay. Three. That's not a one, that's a three. Come on, die. Work with me here. Uh, you know what? Let's just do that. Put, add three. That was a that was a three. Uh that's twenty-five radiant damage. Sure, we can just make up numbers, that's fine. And then fifty-two thunder damage. Very nice. And then that was a third level spell slot. As the peel of Osprum rings out. Yeah, he's not enjoying that at all. You're actually leaving welts across his belly and his big old mammon man boobs. Oh, well, let's let's give those mammon man boobs something to cry about. Uh, twenty two to hit. <laughs> That'll hit. Right, that's the that's the point of the session there, right there. You're welcome. All right. Uh, okay. That's... That's my D8. That's my Fiend D8. That is, that is my... One. One. First level slot. Second. Third. Four. Okay, there we go. Those dice right there. Move that one out of the way. I'm sorry, this is just... <laughs> paladins are trickier than you'd think. It's what any paladin should do. Don't apologize. Uh, we're looking at 11 slashing, 11 radiant. And I'm just moving the dice so I can founding them, box them together. Uh, 30 thunder damage. Okay. Yeah, this time you split his chest open and a girth of coins spills out of it all across the floor. And you are sure that you see his grin cracking, and you think you see golden tears forming on his, flowing down his big cheeks. And are you moving or staying put, or are you walloping him again? Bonus action, Adrex, take uh, 2d6 healing. Yeah, that'll get him there. <laughs> <laughs> that's the end of Rod's turn. If we run into a cobalt, you'll be all set. <laughs> Razu. Hey. Uh, I might actually get to use legendary actions this turn. The purse vanishes from the ground where he had dropped of course it. it does. But he's not Rude. holding it. What's his range on this? 120, but Wendy's blind. So I don't have to roll this advantage. Uh -huh. Okay. Windy. Yeah, you do have to roll a disadvantage. I'm dodging. Oh, that's true. He's got two she disadvantages is. and one advantage. All right, I'll just roll three more dice. All right. I got a nat 20. Disagree, but go ahead. No, I got to throw that away because the other dice ah. is lower. But still going to be a 32 to hit. 
Uh huh. Jesus. This fucking guy. Did you right not here. want to fight a CR26 monster? 